Hey YouTube, good morning again. So this video idea was a reminder from one of the viewers that subscribed to this channel. I don't have that many subscribers to this channel yet, but someone left in the comments below, hey Chuck, how do you take care of your drawn comb when you store it for the winter or store it uh, period when it's not in use? And I have come to what has worked for me here in Florida very well, uh, an organic solution that does not involve Paramoth or anything like that. Uh, and I spray it on the combs and I spray it whenever I put them into storage. Um, and it keeps the wax moths away. And this product is an organic product called ZT, uh, or BT is the name of it. Zentari is the brand I purchase, but it's essentially, and I'm gonna mess this up, Bacillus thuringiensis or something similar to that. So go look it up, Zentari. Uh, is the name with an X, um, X-E-N-T-A-R-I, I believe. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Uh, I buy mine off of Amazon. And this is a Talente jar. This is not what it comes in uh, because it comes in a, in a bag that wasn't as resealable. But it looks like very fine kind of powder granules. Um, and the formula I use and, and when I'm doing all of my uh, honey supers at the end of the year, I put them out in the front yard far away from my hives and I let the bees naturally open feed on them and completely clean the honey off. Some people keep them on their hives and let the bees take care of them there, but I store mine dry storage so I want all of the honey off to keep ants out of my uh, barn shed here. Now, after the bees have cleaned them off is when I apply the Zentari um, BT to it. I usually use a bigger sprayer if I'm doing a lot of hives for this small little mating nuke uh, batch here. So I'm mostly done with my mating nukes right now. I've gone on to three frame and five frame nukes. Uh, I'm not rearing a whole lot of queens at the moment, um, but I'm gonna take care of this wax and also use it as an opportunity to show you. Um, two teaspoons per gallon is the, is the formula I use to mix this up. And I've got a little cup in here that measures four teaspoons. So I'm just gonna take half of that little cup and put in this little one half gallon mixer here. Uh, this is not a precise science either. If you use a little more or a little less, it, it isn't gonna make it. I kinda can almost mix it to the color. Whenever I put this in another container, I put the date I purchased this. This is already five years old. Uh, it is in stasis. I don't know if there's an expiration date on it. There isn't an expiration date on the bag when you buy it, but I do like to replace it uh, about every five years. So I'm probably gonna get a new batch here soon. So I put the mix in there, and this is just a pressurized spray bottle. You could use any type of spray bottle you want. Um, I recommend you use something that is easy on the hands uh, and uses pressure because the squeezing motion of any of a hand sprayer is a little exhausting after a while. So just mixing it up. You can kind of see through the plastic. It's just kind of a light cream color from those brown granules dissolving. And this is a microorganism that just doesn't let wax moth larvae uh, breed. Um, it's, not, it's not a smell, it's nothing like that. It's just a tiny little organic microorganism that fights this specific uh, grouping of uh, wax moth larva. Now there are many types of uh, BT used in agriculture uh, for different types um, of, 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 of pests or, or things you're going after. So you can't just use any type um, of, of organism that you might, you might think. But if I were to go through, nah, not much in here to spray, but you can see a little bit of wax on there. And all I do is put a little bit of the spray on here. Um, there's really not much on this one. So this isn't a great example. So let me go ahead and that other one doesn't have any on it. If you're interested in how I do my mating oaks, I don't think I've made a video on them yet. I use plastic inner covers because when you open these little guys up, the bees kind of go everywhere. And I like to, to kind of keep them under there if I just want to check. Not a whole lot of drawn comb in these. This is some of my leftover um, pollen patty. No need to leave that in there. Leftover pollen. A little bit more wax there. This is what I'm really trying to preserve are these combs like this. Now, if you know combs have a natural tendency to go up, so spraying down in is a better uh, direction to go, top to bottom, just so it kind of hits the back end of the cell. This just evaporates off, and this is all you have to do. And this wax, for the most part, will stay just like it is right now without wax moss damage. Now, this will not keep roaches or other animals like that from getting uh, into your hives, 
but it will keep the breeding of wax moths. And maybe one more, see if we can get one more good one to show you. A few ants in here. All right, so I think you get the picture. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. No need for you to watch me do all of it. Uh, I may just kind of let it fast forward here so you can kind of see anything. And if something comes up, I'll stop the video. But here we go. Okay, so that was all of them. If you watch and fast forward, the last batch of that didn't have any drawn out wax on them. Those were ones I've already pulled in. I still got about five or six in the yard and I've taken most of the drawn wax and put it in those frames. So they're all full of drawn wax. Uh, it's starting to taper off a little bit. I haven't committed near as much time to queen grafting. I'm just kind of keeping my nukes going and doing some splits off of emergency cells. Anyway, that's how I handle my wax moth and wax storage. I use Zentari BT. I spray it with a spray bottle. Uh, this, this, this lasts a long time. It lasts, uh, you get you through winter for sure for several years. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below to the, the version I purchased. Uh, you're free to check that out. Let me know if you have any questions below. And uh, to whoever recommended this video, thank you very much for that recommendation. That was a good idea. Have a great day.